It looks like about a 12 to 15 second delay. Yeah, it's pretty considerable tonight. Alright, so, checking Chris. Uh, you want to make sure you've got the lighter, the bazooka, some rounds, and healing stuff. And the shield key. Maybe this one? That's armor. So I don't need the armor key. Is what no, you're you saying. Yeah, you can leave that for the moment. Alright. So I'll leave that and the ink ribbons. And he says leave at least one space open. Okay, that's that's definitely a shield. Alright, we'll go ahead and leave the gray key behind then. Okay, so lighter, don't need this. Lighter, bazooka, some rounds, health thing, and a key. Yeah, so I'd take at least two more things of herbs. All he right. says you're gonna need it. <laughs> Glad to know I've got Chris's confidence behind me here. Alright. Off we go then. Read the next stretch. Anyway, yeah, the show went well. We just went way over. So, uh, Slanted Dick's House of Big Boobs is going to have to start a little bit later, I guess. And no, I didn't just make that up. I need to see this one these days. Uh, I need to as well. I kind of wanted to stick around, but... So now we have to go back to the hall where the guy was dying. Oh, man. That was wasn't like... it just on the other side of the main front entrance hallway? Was it? You know, I take a couple days off from this game, and I just completely lose all memory of where anything it's is. It's been like a week. Oh, it's been real... Yeah, that's right. I'm thinking I saw I think it. last time we played it was Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Wow. Oh, could have opened that with the armor key. Oh, well. I think if you just go to the end and just... You can just work your way around. That leads. I should probably equip a gun. Oh wait, I don't have a gun. Okay. You've been through these halls, so I think you've taken care of all the zombies in there. Right. Yeah, that's true. We're, it's boss times. Boss times coming up. So you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and read the next paragraph just just so I actually know. Okay, hold up. Before you do, um, I've just opened mm -hmm. up into the main hall. Okay, and then I'm just trying to remember where it was that the, uh... You're still in the dining room here. Oh, there is a bit of a delay. I'm sorry, now I'm in the main hall. I don't know why I called the dining room the main hall. I just realized I did that. Oh, then there isn't as much of a delay. Right, not, not, not that much of one. Okay, uh... Um, right, I'm trying to remember where the guy was. Let's see if I can look up here a bit. Go in the door. Let's see. You get out of the gas chamber, go down to the red hall towards the gas front hall. Chamber. Where was that? Go now? in the door in the left side near the front hall door. Oh, Chris. I think, I think it was up on the second floor. Second floor, all right. That I know how to get to, at least. Shut off all the music so we can hear every nuance. And you, and as I remember, we did already see the guy die. Yeah, I believe we did. Did he give you the comm radio? I haven't gotten that, no. Okay. Uh, which side? There's three doors up here, I think. The left? The left. I mean, the music just sh completely shut itself off there. It's prepping for boss time. <laughs> it knows. And it's back. 
Okay, we're up here. Go around the banister and down. Yeah, okay, keep going. I think there was a banister. You go down the stairs. Oh, wait, I, I'm starting to remember now, yeah. Yeah, this is the banister with that window we could never find. Before. Right, yeah, which is right there. <laughs> Let's walk by it, you know, give it its due. It's like ten minutes to find a window. It's right there. <laughs> and it didn't even tell us anything, except you hear some dogs and stuff howling or something. Yeah. Alright. Wait, no. Now hold up. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. <laughs> now what? <laughs> what what am I around the banister and down the stairs? Okay, right, I did that, so that brings me right here. Okay, hang on. Um the door on the left side and <laughs> the front wall you use it. Like you just How did that dinner. happen? How did that fucking happen? No! I refuse to believe that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so run out of the door into the front hall into the dining room I guess I okay it's on the other side of the front hall oh okay um uh, all right so what upstairs it's it's on the other side upstairs I think so I don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> so watch, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna end up at the bottom of these stairs again. <laughs> if we ever go on a road trip together, I want Christopher to write the directions. <laughs> It'll be a journey of discovery. Oh my god, no shit. Bring a fucking documentarian with us on that one. We have to let him know now so we can take ten years to revise. <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, folks, we are still reading that guy's fact. Yep. Why wouldn't that's we why at this we are point? hopelessly lost. <laughs> that'll be my yeah. That'll be my uh, my fortieth birthday present to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Noel, it's a road atlas as marked by Chris. <laughs> okay, so all right, I'm in the main hall. I'm upstairs. I don't know if it's that door or the other. I have no idea where the fuck to go. I'll Just try the one closest to me right now. Yeah. Glad you can join us, Fosh. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, is this it? Uh, oh. Is... No, wait, this is this is the other outside. Nope, this is the gas chamber. Alright. Oh, good, if it's the gas chamber, then let's see where... Okay, from the gas chamber. When you get out of the gas chamber... Okay, yeah, so just go back around that corner and it's that door right on the side. Uh, define the corner, I... Toward the screen or away from the screen? Because uh, I've got away. two corners. Away. All right. To the back corner. All right, and it'd be this door, I'm guessing. I believe so. At this point, who can really fucking tell? You know. We have found our markers. <laughs> uh, I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and he's died over here. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Pile of polygons is his corpse. See if, see if he has the calm radio, because that was something you were supposed to. He was supposed to give you before he died. No. Mm. Can you check your inventory or? Well, I mean, I can oh, check one. Oh, oh, there. Oh, the radio oh no there. shit! All right. Well, the game's actually giving us a break here by not taking up an inventory slot for something. Yep. All right. Let me just see what we gotta do. Ah, uh, go into the door past Richard. Cut the music off again. Oh, bloody handprints. Things are getting spooky. Oh, shit. Alright, uh, I don't have... A, I guess I'm going to be using a bazooka bullet on this zombie here. That's what Chris tells you to do. Uh, very wasteful, Chris. <laughs> that was worth it. Oh man, that was that was pretty fun. 
All right. Um, All right. Up so the stairs up the, or it, where the zombie came from? Yep. Run up the stairs, unlock the door with the shield key, but don't go in. All right. And he tells you to discard the shield key because you need an extra space. This key is useless now. That's nice of the game. All right, so don't go in, so I guess I'm going back down the stairs. You go back down and go down that one hole. Looks like all that's here is this door, so in we go. Yep. Chris says not to go in the door. Oh. <laughs> all right, this is some kind of dining room, I guess. Okay, so the candle on the table, use the lighter to light that, and then push the bookcase against the wall. Does it matter which way? Oh, fuck you, Chris. Oh, oh no. Now what? What did he do to us this time? <laughs> he says, hopefully you brought the acid rounds to use against the snake. Why the fuck wouldn't he tell me to... Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What? The... Does it really make that big said... of a difference, or do I have to? In the earlier one, you said choose whichever rounds you want. Jeez, man, what the fuck? <laughs> I think let's just stick with the ones we get, because you're about to get some more acid rounds. Yeah. God. <laughs> Come on, champ, so, get in the fucking game, dude. <laughs> in the door behind the bookshelf, you should find some more acid rounds. Yeah, but it's going to take up more inventory space, but I guess I've got an open space. Oh, now he's saying if you didn't have the acid rounds, go get them. <laughs> I'm not doing anything right now because my head is in my hands. All right. <laughs> just, just let's just keep going. I think we should be okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it gave me twelve rounds. Um, jeez. And you should should find ink ribbons around the table. Oh, I see a little like seven pixel blob at the end. You see it. I guess I'm going to have to go back to storage, because my inventory's full now. Well, that's okay, because you're about to use some heal. You're going to fight the snake now. Okay. Do I have to use acid rounds, or can I use my explosive on it? Because my bazooka's loaded with know. something already. Well, might as well try and see what happens. Wait, okay. We can always just go back to the... We can always just reset to the safe state. Yeah, it's true. Not ideal, but... Yeah. We're experimenting. Okay, so, so I'm leaving the dining room. At that door at the top of the steps that you unlocked, that's the snake. Oh, okay. Hang on. He's telling me, read this before you fight the snake. Hang Finally. On. Thank you. A little bit of notice, Chris. We're learning. Awesome. You kill the snake, use the bazooka till it runs out, then use the acid rounds. Okay. Uh, Just aim and keep shooting after about three bites. So you basically have to let him bite you. Sounds great. Can't wait. And you just keep shooting it until it stops attacking you. I just love he's like, you have to get these tips before you fight it. And he's just like, shoot it until it stops fighting. What, is it gonna, like, jump scare out at me or something? Yeah. Stop shooting once it starts heading back to its hole, because you don't want to waste ammo. Alright. Alright. Hey, big fella. Poison. Fantastic. And still poison. I hope that's working. Is there explosive rounds or you Uh, I'm out of rounds, apparently. Now let's put the, uh, acid rounds in. It's kind of an unfortunate camera angle we got here. It's hard to tell if I'm aiming at it or not. Oh, thanks, yeah. Jesus Christ. This isn't going too well. Stop wasting ammo, Jack. I think that... Feels like I got him. Looks like I got him. Okay, but what happened to the acid rounds? You used them instead of combining them. 
Uh, or did you just use them? No, I combined them. Oh, okay. Huh, I thought I saw them. Oh, you used a heal. Yeah. Yeah, because I was about to die. And I still might, because I'm poisoned still. Alright, let's see what he says here. Okay, follow him into the hole. Do I still have You're to... You're not going to have to fight him anymore, but there's a crust. Alright. Into the hole. And then there should be some shells in there, too. He also tells about the poison. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Oh, all right. You're not gonna die. All right, the shells are in the hole as well. Uh, they should be on a barrel. Okay. Not really seeing anything indicating it, but no, no. Maybe they're on the crate. I don't know. Oh, hey, Igor. Glad to have you. I'm I'm shocked that we have anybody this late. <laughs> Play uh, hunt for the shells. Haven't found them yet. Wow. Okay. Uh, should I be healing myself because I was orange no. and no, no. All right. Well, you might want to hurry up and get out of the room. All right. Fuck the shells, I guess. Just, just go out the door and go down the stairs. Can always come back and get away. Cutscene time. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. Mm -hmm. So mysterious. It is. You can tell it's mysterious because they're playing an electric piano. It's not mysterious without an electric piano. Wasn't this a storage room that had the ink ribbon on the bed? Barry! Barry? Yeah, it is. There it is, right there. Let's see. So you're cured. If you are a very good player like me, you nope. you avoided being poisoned. <laughs> well, well, sorry, Chris. I'm, I'm, we can't all be fucking savants at this game. Well, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, so what you're going to want to then do is clear out your inventory and just equip the shotgun, the shells, and all four crests. Alright. And he says it's okay if you fill the inventory. Somehow I... I don't really want to believe him. Oh, wait. Uh, no. That's all right. <laughs> all right. Shotgun and shells, he said. Yep. I don't trust you, Chris. Let's see if I got any more shells that I can comp. Golly, I really don't have too much. God, he has he has four lines of just go to this room, then this room, then this room, uh, then this room, then this room. Oh. Of course he does. Should I go back and get the um, what you call it, the shotgun shells from the snake room? I'm sure we're gonna pass it at some point in the okay. future. Resume that hunt. Okay, what's uh? Oh, actually, you might need to because we're about we're going to be jumping to stage two, and I don't even know if you can go back. Oh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do you remember how to get there? It was, it was up the stairs and around the horn and da da da. Yeah, it's just it's back around that one corner. Yeah. Wait. 
uh, whatever takes you to the front hall. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. It's this way, it's that way, it's every which way. Right. Laps. I think it was that one. See, I just fucking did it and I still can't remember. It's the first story you get yeah. to. Okay. herb in there? Yeah, you can grab them if you want to mix them. I think I will. You should still have a couple spots left. Yeah. And it's an herb. And the snake is back, I bet. <laughs> I love that this game isn't that you just go and collect things that heal you. You have to collect various ingredients and combine them into things that heal you. Yeah. You can eat the herbs by themselves, though. Yeah. They don't heal you as much, of course, but... but that's like eating just one Pringles. <laughs> Are you saying they're addictive? All right, we're back here. You said it's on yeah, a barrel? It says they're on a barrel. That's not a barrel at all. Oh, wait. Could have swore I checked these already. Wait, in the uh, back corner there, did you check those two? No, not the corner that you're in right now, but in the wider shot. The wider shot, let's see. Oh, those two. No, I haven't yet. Let's see. Oh, look at that. One of them. Ah. I think that has a little brown spot on it. There we go. Yep, that's it. That's a better number to have for ammunition. All right, let's yep. get out of here before the snake comes back. And then uh, just head back to where we just were. <laughs> it's kind of the name of the game, yeah. yeah. At least it's not too long of a trip this time. Right. And in a few minutes, we'll never have to see any of these rooms ever again. Hopefully. Because we'll have finished the game. No, we're not that lucky. Yeah, level two. Level two. Pretty fun that they divide it into levels. So what, do we go to a new house? Do we go in the backyard? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we go outside. Oh, good. Can't wait. Would, uh, where am I going? Uh, yeah, just keep going to that left door to the dining hall. And go around to the stairs. Okay, that room again, I guess. Kind of gonna miss the house. He said, not meaning it. Yeah, according to Christopher, there's six levels. Which means there's probably like four or seven. There's this many. Yeah, Chris is kind of blowing it with me for now. He, he might he might redeem himself at some point, but not tonight. All right. Our friends can't always be perfect. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where where to next? Okay, is that the storage room? Oh, I'm going to the storage room now. The storage room is right. Uh, I mean, you don't need to go in. But, um, Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I never said to go in. <laughs> well, normally it's... All right. Fair point. All right. Uh, I'll give you that. So, um, 
Uh, let's see. Go down the dark hall and into the blue wallpapered hall. So I think oh, it's okay. just go down. Yeah, the I remember corner. where that is. Oh wait, we still never went into that room. Maybe there's like ammunition or something. I kind of feel like doing that real quick. You could take a peek if you want. I yeah, I'm gonna need to grab the the armor key, which is the gray one, I think. Well, yeah, it's the one I haven't thrown away. Yeah, we can't not love Chris. He's like a brother. You know, he has his faults. <laughs> we, we've seen the dude's OK Cupid profile, and we're, we're, we're practically relatives. We're practically kin now. All right. I practically know the man like a scout. <laughs> Here's what I'm wondering is if you get to level two, does that like reset the inventories in the storage crate? Wouldn't that suck? <laughs> By the way, now that we're at level two, I sure hope you brought the key with you. They no longer tie into a pocket dimension. Oh, look at that, it's the broken oh, there's, shotgun. This, oh, this is the broken shotgun that Chris has to get. Right. Oh. So this is Chris's section of the game. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think you need this. This is a thing for Chris. Can you over there? Got some more shells. Huh, never hurts. Oh man, I kind of want to get that clip. It's it's a it's a gun clip for the pistol. I kind of feel like I'm gonna regret it if I don't, but I know that I'm gonna immediately regret having to go back to the storage room. And you know what? It's right there. I'm doing it. The storage it. room is just right around the corner. Yeah, you know, it's not gonna kill you. Yeah. And then watch, we'll get like five rooms away, and it says you need the armory key. Uh huh. It doesn't. I actually read a hit, so we're good. Okay. Wait, Basically, we're good to just cool. go on to stage two. It's like the music just decides arbitrarily, uh, yeah, we're done. Well, it's like the music is like, hey, if you're going to fucking go off script. <laughs> <laughs> you're not listening to what Chris said. I wonder how much of Chris's walkthrough was a message he got from the music. So, go down the dark hall and into Kenneth's death hall. Wait, Kenneth? Go down the dark hall to the blue wallpapered hall. Okay, you're in the blue wallpapered hall. Yes. Where was Kenneth's death hall? Uh, is that the guy who died around the snake room? Yeah, but that's all the way on the other side of the house. Right. Okay, now that's that's where the plant is. I remember that well. That was Richard who died. R okay. Who, who, the, who the hell's Kenneth? Don't go down the long one. Um, is it? You know that room right there is the that one little crest room is. Oh, this. Wait. No, this is the. Uh, this is where the tiger is. Yeah. Did I ever get the red gem? I don't think you were supposed to at this point. I think one gem is for Chris and one gem is for Jill. Oh, okay. We'll go with that. If you didn't get the red gem, I hate to tell you, your game is now unwinnable. The good news is you can start it over and read my walkthrough again. Alright, I got two doors here. I think one of them is the Keeper Diaries room, isn't it? Let's try the one I'm closest to first. It's like we're discovering it all, all over again. I know, yeah. No, that's not it. He's allowing his descriptions to keep it fresh and new. Kenneth died. Is this guy like mixing mixing up his games or something? Alright, now I'm in another hall. Okay. 
Okay. Um, then you just go to the dining room, which I'm guessing is at the end of the hall. And yeah, because this is Wait, place where you this... saw the first zombie at the beginning of the game, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, why didn't he just say go here? I knew how to do that. That's where Kent, who Kent was. He was the guy getting eaten on by the zombie. Oh, okay. Okay, so from the dining hall, let's see, go to the front hall, and then into the blue doors. Back to those, all right. Where we started this whole thing. Well, I think Resident Evil should be called Back to the Beginning. Back to the Beginning Quest. Didn't want to go down the L-shaped hall. Maybe it's just the first one there on the right. Oh, that's where the dog spooked you. Yeah. That's right, because this is taking us outside. And go down the long hall to the back room. How's everyone doing in the chat? Are we keeping you entertained? Are we at least keeping you awake, if not entertained? Why does he call it the long haul and not the zigzag haul? Chris has mysterious ways. Alright. What's next? Alright. Doors, 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 doors. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's okay. um, pretty much got it, Igor. <laughs> then to the back room, then go down to the end of the back room and turn right. Go, okay, yeah, go down to the steel doors. Keep going. Oh, wait, through here, this little crevice, it's this doesn't look like anything. Right. Yeah, that's right, I remember this now. After, After you, you get, get to the steel door, you begin the corner. Check, check your, your map, map and you will see it. You start, start off, and we haven't been, been using that map before in this one, so why don't you start? start? Right, no, I'm with you. We're not We're not using the map at all this, uh, this entire playthrough. Alright, you start off in the tool shed... shed. When you enter, kill the dog, but I think I already ran into the dog. I believe we did, but I got my gun out just in case. Alright, okay, so, so at the end of the hall, we put the crest in the crest holder. And then I'll unlock it. Alright. Uh, well, I think we'll at least get into another room, then I have to leave it three times and come back in those 11 minutes or so you are. <laughs> Hold up, I was reading the nonsense. Uh, what, what's going on? You were saying he's going to head out in about 11 minutes, and I'm saying, well, we'll probably just enter one room and have to leave it three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's not even a puzzle as to be No, yeah. <laughs> just use them. Solve the riddle. Way to go. Alright, I will be right back. All right, less than a minute. Igor, what is this reasonable hour that you speak of? All right. All right. So let's see. There is the we got those stool. Stairs you want to push it in front of the shelf where you see the tools. The stool. You talking about these steps? Presumably. I'm not sure I would call this a stool. Um, I'm not sure I can push it. Either. Okay, I think I see what I gotta do. Oh no! Don't push it that way. We'd have to leave the room and come back in. Horrors. <laughs> Alright, to the shelf. I'm guessing that shelf. Oh my god. Yeah, when you're trying to push stuff, the tank controls start getting real confusing really quick for some reason. Yeah. Oh my goodness. 
There we go. He says, pick up the crank on the top shelf, and if you check it, you will see that it says square crank. She's not doing anything. I think I hit the wrong shelf. Let's see. Change the camera angle. No adjustments can be made. No, that's... Looks like the only Maybe shelf you in just here. need to go down either Which... one way or the other. Oh, I think I see. Yeah, I got it now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's... Uh... That was a handy camera angle. Thought I pushed it all the way. Guess not. Oh, because heaven forbid she could reach an extra foot further. Well, you know. Video games. Alright, so you head out through the double doors. That's oddly specific for Chris. <laughs> well, he actually says go into the big double doors. Oh. Further scripted. Alright. Got some plants happening here. Oh, I got a dog about to attack me as soon as I pick up my plant. Yeah, I'd, I'd focus on those. You can grab yours in a minute. Hey, you. Hey, you cried. That usually means you're dead. Oh. What's beeping? Yeah, uh, did you get them all? I did. Is my radio going off? Is that what that means? Yeah, and we'll take care of it. Just well, no, sure. I got oh. I got one dog. Um, he says a lot of dogs. Okay, what the hell is beeping? Somebody, somebody else calling in? It's or? your radio. It's the radio. Oh, okay. Oh wait, I did kill two dogs. So I didn't even realize it. So, is that a lot? <laughs> <laughs> It's more than one, to be sure. Oh, look, blue herbs for the first time. Well, more than one is, to Chris, probably that many. <laughs> Not this many. That many. All right, so... I, yeah, I guess two is a lot. You can there. answer the radio. Okay. Um, all right. No, <laughs> I guess they gave up. Hmm. By the way, be sure you're you quick about it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some. Was around here, right? Yeah, they're not calling anymore. Well, he says, uh, let's see. It's to do. Apparently it's just uh, Vickers trying to talk with any star members, but you can't reply because your radio was broken. Alright. Well, hope that wasn't an event trigger for later in the game. That eh, they, they wouldn't program it so shoddily. So he says take, take the two red herbs and the two green herbs and you can combine them. Alright. that inventory space that has that clip in it. You never put that away. I didn't, yeah. Uh, Alright, so... <laughs> all the way back. Okay, so instead of, instead of doing another red-green, do a green-blue. Oh, okay. Because he was just saying, do two red-greens and one green-blue. One green-blue? What does that do? I thought the red was the one that augmented stuff. He actually doesn't say. You need them for an upcoming surprise. All Thanks, right. Chris. No. Okay, that was green. It's a red. So are you sure that it says green-blue? Yeah. All right. I love this. Uh, now run along the tool shed, not toward the gate, but along the wall next to the tool shed. 
Get the garden map. Look at it. Do you see the area under the courtyard? You will be there much later. Right now, you're focused on getting to the other end. Why are you telling us to check the map then to see something we aren't even going towards right now? <laughs> because he's Chris. Yeah. Alright, I guess I should pick up and combine... Well, I really can't. Never mind. I guess I need to go back into storage, right? Well, you can always draw out the clip. That was always meant to be Chris's clip, not yours. I'm gonna Although need... somewhere in this, in this game, Chris is dying right now because you took his I don't, I don't care about Chris. His game is boring and frustrating. I don't even know which Chris we're talking about anymore. Game Chris. There's game Chris. Yeah, I don't know that there's actually a separation between... Uh, yeah, I don't think... He's, he's this distant <laughs> They're both game there. Chris as far as we can tell. He's always on the periphery, never quite alongside. <laughs> Let's try well, this game is probably going to be a gradual mental breakdown to where you just end up hunting down Christopher and punching him in the shin. <laughs> Alright, where is Damn the you. nearest storage room around here? I don't even remember where the closest storage room is. Are you a storage room? Nope, you're a bathroom. I like the lost three-year-old wandering around Target. Are you a storage room? I feel mm -hmm. like I'm a lost three-year-old again, wandering around a store. Oh man, I gotta go way out the way. And you know what? I'll bet that there's one like right close by where we were. Yeah. Oh, come on, Igor, you really want Jack to play this game going in blind? Oh, yeah, that that's fucking... that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Where's the fun? Twelve hours of sleep aid to get to level two. <laughs> Shit, where am I going? Man, you're all the way back in. I mean, is there a closer oh, storage room? You just are not going to discard that clip. <laughs> no! <laughs> I guarantee I'm going to need every bullet that I've got. I know how these games work. Okay, well, remember, you got to... Actually, if you go upstairs to the upper level, that'll take you to the storage room. Okay, well, there's more than one. I just don't remember where the other ones are. I know, I, I remember where this one is. That's about it. All right, I'll go up the stairs. Uh, wish I could skip the stairs. Just admire some of this uh, fine pattern on the carpet here. It is a very finely woven pixel pattern. Although, though, doesn't this going up the stairs, doesn't it look like almost like a 16-bit effect? Like something you'd see in a Super Nintendo Castlevania game? Yeah, the look of it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Just that very basic 3D polygon render. Yeah, you could definitely put that in a game of that uh, that era. The music is just like, I don't even fucking know. Yeah, the music's like, oh, God, all right, we, yeah. Oh, hey, a storage room. Who did thought? No, no, you're going to need the herbs. All right, well, you can keep the... You can leave the green ones behind, that's fine. Could have swore it was blue and red for the combo for that. Well, he says, let's see, uh... You should have that single green herb. When you finish, combine it with... After that, get a blue herb along the tool shed and mix it with the green herb. 
No. I swear to God, if that's a typo, I'm gonna <laughs> scream. Wait, that's not it. Well, hopefully, it got corrected over the ten years he's been revising. <laughs> I don't trust him. You have to remember that he did this thing from the time he was 15 to when he was 23. This is we're witnessing what birthed him into becoming a man. <laughs> This is his puberty on paper. <laughs> his voice probably changed from one paragraph to the next. That's the true part. <laughs> and each diary entry is a new hair coming on his balls. <laughs> Don't want to think about Chris's balls right now. Uh, okay, blue doors. Well, I, want, I remember that. I'm just thinking of them in terms of relation of my the end of my boot hitting them. <laughs> Now that's a pleasant thought. That is, legitimately. All those little boxing bags. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Let me go ahead and read a little further ahead, just to make sure. We yeah, we've, we're we're stories. learning that that's kind of a necessary uh, necessary precaution to take. Yeah. So you already got the the, the garden map, right? Yes. Okay. So then we're just going to go into that one gate. <sighs> and use the square crank in its proper place. Christopher, I know where the proper place is for that square crank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Chat, you still with us? <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> We still got five viewers, two oh, of which yeah. are probably you and me, so we got some people. You're right. Home. <laughs> God bless them. All right, so through the crown, so through the gate at the other end of this uh, courtyard, you're going to want to find oh, wait, a there's place more to herbs. put the square crank and then crank it. There's another blue okay. herb, there's a red herb, and I'm I think that's a green. You can herb. go ahead and mix another green and red if you want. All right. The chat's not responding, so I think the game might have put him to sleep. Chat's got nothing. Resident Evil, it's the modern day lullaby. <laughs> or they're just sitting there, just staring at us in school. <laughs> I bet they've probably tabbed out to something else by now. Like, really? Really? They just don't want to hurt our feelings. They want us to see that someone's watching. Right. It's like we've done our duty no, 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 as no. friends. Yeah, no, you don't want to go down that end. Alright. Keep going. It should be behind that gate. Uh, so long, Igor. Have a good night. See you, Igor. Thanks for checking it out. For what it is. I don't know why that's funny to me. All right. Okay, so just like go this. along the waterway till you find where to crank to crank. Yeah, progressing. That's a good verb for what we're doing here. <laughs> I, I refuse to call this playing anymore. You always take one step forward, two steps back. Like we're almost. I think this game is actually progressing backwards. So it I'm just keeps taking us further back and back. Yeah. So I'm using the crank in the square hole. Yep. I can do that. Then use a corn crank it using the corn. Sorry, water is drowning you out. Pun not re really. Pun not intended. Well, mine was just a joke too. So oh, never mind. okay. So, we're, we're even. <laughs> Alright, so run down the ladder, over the water, and then run up the ladder. Um, Alright. So there's the little bridge there. Wait, where's the... Oh, that thing. Alright. Take Run as fast as you can because snakes will fall from the tree and bit you. Well, we certainly don't want to get bit. We, well, wait, now let me get that right. We certainly don't want to get bite. So which way am I running? All right, I guess I uh, guess that way. Oh shit! Oh, 
Let them hit you. Uh, all right, now what? And Fuck, I can't go anywhere else. What button? <laughs> what button? The button button. Oh, okay. That button. Well, that was obvious. Click the button in the back and it will go down. <clears throat> all right. I'll just do this to move for the rest of the game. No. Oh, fuck. We gotta... We gotta... Got a dog. Chris says... Don't, oh, shit. More than one. Oh, you mentioned the dogs. They're just probably gonna like to you in the Oh, okay. That's right. Water so when wild. the last one's done, go to where the water is falling. Uh, gonna take a wild guess here. All right. And then click. There's not gonna be anything on it. So. There's something in the back. Yes. All right. And according to Chris. That's something you will find out way, way later, so this means that. Thanks, Chris. Alright, so then there's another elevator. More snakes that might bit us. Yeah, there should be a battery on this other elevator. Don't pick it up now, you'll get it later. Well, alright, I just went through a gate, I guess, so. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to go through a gate. There was a pooch coming to see me, so yeah, we're going back through the gate. Alright. I think the uh, elevator's back where that first dog was, you saw. Any back there? Yeah, no, yeah. She was sitting right back there. There we go. Got to get power to the elevator. Guess oh crap, no, he's saying, yeah, you don't. Oh, damn, because saying so basically he just wanted you to go to the elevator to see that there is a battery there that you need to find. Chris! So now, now, now you go out the gate that I just told you not to go. Oh my god. 100% run. Is this the gate? Oh, shit. Yeah, it must be. If I remember correctly, yeah. Well, that's a convenient overhead angle that lets oh, you see how you're coming. Great, waste of the shell. I don't know how that hit him, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> so there's some herbs there. Oh, there yeah, sure are. Room. I think it, well, how, def right define there. room. I mean, look ahead a bit. How much room do I need? I've got two blocks open. Yeah, I think. Yeah, here. I think he said that there were some red ones too. Oh no, there's two green and two blue. Okay. So I mean, you can combine a green and a blue. And he oh, still. Yeah, there's the two blue ones. And he still is. Oh yeah, I see him now. They're kind of blending in yeah. with the dog corpse. I don't think if you, get a cut, if you get a green and a blue, you can mix them, save the space. And he's still not telling us what that does. No, that's a surprise. Oh, good. I love surprises, especially when they're from Chris. I love how he's withholding surprises for me, and I'm withholding surprises for you, so you're at the low end of the totem pole and shit. Ah, uh, I'm used to that. Alright, so, uh, run down the passage and run into the door to the guardhouse. Oh good, we're having storage room come up since we can save. That's good. Ooh, statue. Okay. 
I love how it's, he doesn't call it a bird statue, he calls it the birdie statue. <laughs> of course he <laughs> does. He <laughs> well, he's full of surprises. <laughs> so push the birdie statue down the hall and turn it right at the right corner and position it over the hole so Great. the plant stem doesn't reach out and grab you. Okay. Wait, I have no idea what he's talking about. Nope, wrong way. Go go down around the corner down the hall. Guess what? Did you just wedge it up against the wall? <laughs> you guessed right. <laughs> you guessed what? <laughs> you know what you win? You win two extra door animations. <laughs> Give yourself a little push in room. Uh, Alright, what am I doing here? Just pushing it all the way to the okay. end? Or? Uh, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Down the hall and turn it right at the right corner and position it over the hole. So the plant's done. What hole? I guess we're going to see a hole around. Oh, I think it's around that right corner to the end. Yeah. Chris's thing is just full of holes I want to stick things in. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so now something won't kill you. That's good. Go to the door across from the door with the numbers above it. Jeez, we're back to this again, huh? Okay, I guess those are numbers. If you squint the right way. Alright, so I'm going through this door. The one across from it. Am I going to have to push the statue again? No, because the ones in the uh, poison room were still over the vents. Oh my god, it's a storage box. Yep, we're in the storage room so you can save. And there should actually be some first aid spray and explosive rounds. Oh wow, I haven't seen first aid spray since the beginning of the game. So you can you can pick them up and off the shelf and stick them in the box. Yeah, let me open up some room for them real quick. It also says you can clear some of the herbs and the square crank. You don't need the square crank. Alright, I'll keep a red and green and a blue and green. Why don't you go ahead and save with the ribbons, and then you can put those away. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, wait. He says do not save the game right now. Why? <laughs> He says, even if you want to stop, you will be back in about one minute. Okay, yeah. you're going to be picking up a couple of items here in a minute. So, I mean, we, we can just go do that and then come back. Alright, so he says, you just want the shotgun with the shells and some healing herb. Alright, so leave the blue herb behind. If you want, I mean... Let's see, I think I have two items. You sure? Because when he says two, oftentimes he doesn't fucking mean to. I, I believe it's two. <laughs> he lists two and they do not have a plural sound. Alright, I'm out. What am I doing? Okay, now we're going into the room with the numbers on it. Shit, something's coming. I hear it, I can't see it. It's a great camera angle, thanks, man. Yeah, it loves doing this. This isn't the first time it's done this. It's that cinematic suspense. Of course, you can't go check to see if they're fully dead because they don't grab you. Right. I hear something. Oh, man. There's only supposed to be two in there, so one of them might have gotten back up. He just walked away. Yeah, Jill, I'm with you. If I wasn't sitting down, I'd be making the same pose. <laughs> I love you just staring at the zombie. Yeah. Okay, and blood is spurting out. 
as he likes to put it. Is he pulling? There we go. Okay, so... Uh, run into the little door right near the door you came in. Oh. Alright. It's good for door. Biddy has us check the room we're in before we go into another room. Alright. I'm gonna so unplug the tub. Was it plugged into the wall? Ha 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 ha. I'm pretty sure it's USB compatible. You gotta try it a minimum of three times first before it goes in. They're five dimensional things. Alright, I'm guessing I'm grabbing something in the tub. Yep. Oh, wait, Chris says it'll kill you. The C room key. Sure, I'll take it. Alright. So go back into the dorm room. There's shells on the. Oh, he never told us about the shells to pick up, so yeah, you were right. Extra inventory. He usually always puts right next to the title of the room what all is in the See, room. See, I knew it. I knew it. Good call. All right, so what in here? In the, uh, the shelves in the, in the desk. In the desk. And then the red book on the bed. Okay, I guess that's not a desk. Is there a desk over here? Ah, there it is. Lefmoe says, run into the dormitory, pick up the shelves on the desk, run back into the room and get the red book. You just told us to run into the room twice, the same way. Okay, so now, now you can go back to the storage room and put the stuff in. All right, so I'm taking the red book, too? Yep. So is this going to be like Alone in the Dark where i got to read the book? Or is it just strictly an inventory item? Rub this for item on this actually, item. For once, he doesn't actually explain what all's in the book. Oh, well. <laughs> you probably will when we need to. Okay, so back to the yeah. storage room. We'll, we'll get like another five hours into the game. Hey, so right. if you've read the red book... <laughs> I hope you read it when you had it, because... So you can you can tuck that into storage, and you uh, that, want to keep that the control That being the book? Key. Yeah, the book. And you can keep the control room key, but you want to get the bazooka and some rounds ready. He does not specify what kind of rounds. Of course he doesn't. Which means that there's a specific kind that you need. Yeah. Uh, so I'm putting the shotgun up then, I'm guessing? I don't, it doesn't say put the shotgun away. Okay. So, wait, control room key, do I keep it or put it up? I can't control room key, keep it. Keep it, alright. Hang on here, let me just read ahead here real quick just to see if he says anything about what rounds you're going to need. Okay, yeah, you can just use the explosive rounds. That's fine. All right. And it's up to you. Do you want to call it a night? It's been an hour. It's up to you, really. I mean, I could... All right, I could... let's see how long it is till we go back to this. Okay, we just have one thing that we do, and then we go back to the story room. All right. So, I'm... I think we, we can go for a few more minutes. Okay, should I save? Yes. All right. So you're showing your hand a little bit there. Now I know that there's something dangerous I'm about presuming. to go. Uh, okay. N nice save. No, no pun intended. Once again. So now we're going to go to the red doors at the end of the hall. Oh god, I'm going to be right in front of the thing. Right. There. Click the bazooka. Which, you know, by saving twice here, we're gonna like run out of saves later in the game and fuck or something. <laughs> if that happens, uh, we can cheese it. I got save states on the emulator that I could use. Alright, that's true. Worst case. Okay, yeah, I can't combine the uh, ammo with the bazooka because it's two different kinds of rounds. That's right, the acids are still in there. Well, I mean, you can just fire off the one and then right. stick them in. But you can still go ahead and equip the bazooka. Okay. So I only have one inventory slot. That's enough? Uh... Yes. So, okay, so it says he, he right finally, now. He finally says what the blue herbs do. 
Oh, okay. Poison. Oh, all right. Um, okay, so red door? Yes, and something behind it will poison you and you will die. So, red door? I'm joking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I keep waiting for a green door just so I can make it beyond the green door. Oh. oh, shit. We got some stuff happening up top. Is that a tarantula? That is. All right. Um, I'm guessing it'll drop on Go ahead and... Let's see. Uh, run around and shoot the big spiders with bazookas. That's all it says. <laughs> okay. Wait, oh, shit, I had it equipped. <laughs> I guess I gotta... That was my acid round, so... <laughs> oh, jeez! Um, still alive, or is that just a dead car? Oh, the babies. Um. Yeah, this isn't going too oh, well. Run out the door, run out the door, run out the door. Okay. <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to step on him? Am I supposed to shoot him? What am I... <laughs> Waste a round, right, apparently. Check, check to see if you've been poisoned or not. No, haven't been poisoned. In danger, though. Yeah, go ahead and take a red one, then. And now I'm fine. All you gotta do is eat a plant. Just eat a plant whenever you feel bad. Get bit by a All bunch right. of spiders, eat a plant. And uh, here he goes on a paragraph long lecture about poison. Sure, of course he does. If if there are no blue herbs to be found, hopefully you were smart and listened to me by keeping some in your storage box. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Then he keep, keeps talking about the fucking things. Oh, so there's nothing else in the room. You just go back and, and, and back to storage. Wait, so what was the fucking point? We just went in there to... I don't know. What, do they do they show up later if you don't kill them in there? Uh... Okay, apparently you're going to go back in there later, but you're just going to put away the bazooka rounds. Oh, uh, the, the vaunted much later that he keeps on bringing up? No, actually, it, it, as soon as you put away the bazooka rounds. Oh, okay. I've got quite a collection here. And he also says that ignore all clip all clips because you're not gonna use that as long as you have shotgun ammo. Alright. Which means you're probably gonna die because you don't have a clip. Um Of course it does. Looking forward to that. Alright, so once you go back in the red double door. Just walk around. There's going to be a clip and shotgun. Well, no, there's just going to be a clip. But you want to go to the pool table and read it. Okay, so ignore the clip. Oh, there's some ink ribbon right here. I'm going to take that. Wait. Okay, maybe it's just a graphical... No. Ha, I was right. He said nothing about the ink ribbon. I'm worried. If you take the ink ribbon, your game is fucked. May as well start a new one. Uh, pull the table? Is that what this is? Oh, the pool over table here. And read it. That's more like a pull table. Read it? A three ball? I would tell you what the number is, but knowing this game... You'll have to know. <laughs> Looks so like... I, okay. Three, four, five. There you go. All right. And uh, remember that number, even though it is this fax when you mostly need it. <laughs> Don't even understand what you meant by that sense. All right, so you want to go back out into the hall to the corner where you put the birdie statue on and stop the plant from grabbing Oh, yeah, the birdie statue, you're right. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we still got a couple things here, but we are going to go back to the storage room. So, so go back to the birdie statue. Go through the door, I'm guessing. Yep.
It's a hall. Run to the end of the hall. Push the bird. Wait, oh, you're supposed to keep pushing the bird statue? What? No. Is so there another one? Just keep going to the end of the hall and see what's, what all is down there. Looks like a statue down there, yeah. Okay. So okay. there's a second birdie. Alright. Okay, so push... Okay. Push the birdie to the end of that little spot. Alright. And then you can just stock up on herbs. If I must. According to him, if you aren't, you're an irresponsible idiot. Did he say that? Yeah. Oh. In those words? Uh. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Oh, this is funny. Well, of course he it is. Does, yeah, I know. He does, you know, if you're listening to me, you should always be putting, you should collect every herb in the game and always be putting it in the storage room. Uh-huh. But I love how he, he writes health screen as, I'm going to have to type this in the chat just so people can see how this is spelled. Okay. That's how he spells health screen. H-E-L-T-H-S-C-R-E-N-N. Does he can does he consistently spell it that way? Because that would be adorable. <laughs> no, it's just that one time. But it's like all those all those revisions. He never came across health strength. It's getting sloppy. Getting sloppy in your old age, Chris. Come on. Come to expect better from you. So yeah, he basically just says stock up on herbs and then go back into the storage room. Alright. And put them away. Done. He's like, and make sure you, and if you haven't already put away the bazooka. It's like, you just told us to do that a paragraph. Alright, what are we doing now? Okay, so what you should have now are the shotgun and some shells. Right. The control room key. Uh-huh, something, something else that he told us and to uh, put away just now, right? And some health. So, I, I would just grab a, a red, red green mix. Alright. Which he did kind of tell us to put that away just now. I'm you know, just saying. <laughs> He's nothing if not consistent. Alright, so... Back into the guardhouse hall and run down it till you see a door on the right. Um, wait. Guarding on the hall is where you just came from. So past the birdie? Yep, oh, yep, yep, past the birdie. I don't think anyone else is watching but us. So I think oh, I don't know. Yeah. Next time we head back to the storage room, we can call it a... Yeah, that's what I... Yeah, I think this is going to be our storage room that's close and we always get to do stuff. Good. So the door on the right, is that it? And let me just see what he says here. So you see a door on the right, go into it. Does he mean our right or her right? He does not specify. Well, this door has a number over it. I would think that he would specify the door with the number oh, over it. Okay, yes. Okay, that's the one. Uh, no, it's locked, so I can't open it. Oh, okay. Oh, two is where we're gonna go. The two next. Step. Okay, just keep going. So it means her right. All right, in a room. All right, run to the back of the room and get the double O two key. Wait. Alright, there's a bunch of doors in here. You don't go in any doors, just go to the back. Oh there. shit, bees. Yep, you're just gonna wanna run past them and get the key. Alright, I haven't saved in a long time, so. You wanna go ahead and save and we'll call it a night? We'll do yeah, let's do that. 
because right. that would be horrible. Wait, is this where? No, I was past the birdie round. Yeah, he just says run past the bees, grab the key, and then run out of the room before you get stuck. Okay. Wait. Okay, I was going the right way before. Damn it. And then he's telling you to push the statue to get free herbs. It's like, dude, you told us to do that paragraph. This was a troubled yeah. time in his life. He he was trying yeah. those those green herbs. I think this was well. This was the time of his life where he started mixing in the blue ones. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call the stream here.